Welcome to this channel. In this YouTube, I would like to share with you the most known what, why, and how of breathing training in Kung Fu, Qigong, Internal Art, and Wing Chun 1850. We all know that breathing is a must for Qigong, for Kung Fu, for Internal Art, and for Wing Chun. So, we need to know this. Only with this type of training, one has Qigong or internal Kung Fu. Without knowing the what, why, how, and without have this type of training, one really don't have Kung Fu. So, it is better to be honest instead of keep daydreaming with empty claim. So the questions for all of us is to be honest or to keep daydreaming with empty claims. Now, we need to look into one serious problem before I share this breathing training, the what, why, how of breathing training. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because this must stop or else one will never be able to develop anything real. So, a major disaster in Kung Fu is the gossiping mentality in the past 100 years. Everybody gossip on some things. Everybody has their five cents, but no one know what it is. So, when we want to deal with breathing, we better know what it is, or else we're going to get hurt. So, an example of the gossiping mentality in the past 100 years in Kung Fu is you can often see one Sifu teach 100 students and all of the 100 students call themselves Grandmaster but none learn what the Sifu have taught. So, so that is the gossiping mentality. This thing, this gossiping mentality must stop now or else one is going to live in a fantasy land. And I brought this up is because breathing is not something fun. It is not something that uh, one can play with. Now, we need to be professional now. So we need to learn to shut up when one has not learned it. Learn to present technically accurate. Do not contribute to misinformation and no one is exception. Doesn't matter what is one's title. Doesn't matter is me or anybody. One better be professional now. What good is to pass misleading information to others? One well, misleading information is just going to screw other people and <clears throat> let those who really know about the subject laugh at one. And if the practice of Kung Fu, Qi Gong, Internal Art and Wing Chun keeping have this gossiping mentality as in the past 100 years, you know there's no Kung Fu there, there's no Wing Chun there. There's just all gossip. Okay? That's why when Si Xiao Dong challenge it, nobody dare to say anything. Because everyone has their five cents, but no one know what it is. So this is a very uh, important thing we all must put in our head. And what I'm going to share with you 
if you don't know, don't talk about it. If you don't have experience, don't talk about it. Because whatever thing which is you spread out there, which is misinformation, is going to screw other people. And if one is so called a martial artist, then one better speak according to the truth. So this is serious stuff. Now, today many people in Chinese Kung Fu say, you know, we are this internal, we have this advanced internal art, okay? Well, one need to ask today, which is more internal? Sport science or whatever the internal art people claim today? For example, in the breathing, if you look into the sport science or the uh, uh, sport medicines, people talk about the increase of lung capacity, okay, preventions of pulmonary complications, increased diaphragm thickness, improved strength of the pelvis based muscle, benefit of the respiratory muscle training in athletes is. Uh, decrease exercise limit thing diarrhea increase vo2 max level accelerate recovery improve oxygenations delay on blood lactate reduce time to fatigue reduce oxygen consumptions of respiratory muscle so 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 in the sport science, in the sport medicine, people know really clearly what one do and uh, what is the result. One can quantize it, measure it, verify it with science. So the question right now is for those who keeping saying that internal is uh, advanced, oh no, this secret, that secret from the grandmaster better wake up and look at what is the reality. Okay, can one handle this? If one cannot handle this, it is obvious one do not know. So, want to talk about breathing? There are different breathing states in Kung Fu training, in the proper Kung Fu training proper Wing Chun 1850s training, proper Qigong training, proper internal art training, they are different breathing states. So with, uh, with the H model, okay, as you can see the H model in my other video, with all those physiological state and training goal and the heart rate zone, we know that in this state, in this deep recovery state, then the breathing will be like the N1 breathing. In this warm up or cool down state, or Sing Chi state, or 2C state, it will be like this, the 2C states. In the 7 bowls and force flow handling state, or the condition 1 with the heart rate of the zone 2, you will be the rising, sinking, and six healing sound type of breathing states. In the condition level two, conditioning level two, where you start to handle impulse momentum, it is a higher level of sinking and rising states. And when it gets to fighting, training, or accelerated impulse momentum handling or full accelerated input momentum handling which is going to get into high aerobic and anaerobic it will be in the state which is when you exert your power okay your exertion your striking so this is all different breathing states if one have a proper training to go through all this, one will be able to handle all the states. Okay? Now, 
So the question is how to breathe in these states. So in this N1 state, how is one breathe? The 2C state, how is one breathe? If you want to do the six healing sound in this conditioning one state for health and recovery, what, how, how do one breathe? Same with this rising sinking and same with this exertion when you need to have a full accelerated impulse momentum handling. So how to breathe in these states? So the question is, how can you develop it, improve it, when you don't have a clue? So unless one knows what is going on here, how do one develop it? Say even like this in 2C state. How is that handling different than the exertion? How are you going to use your abdominal muscle or using your diaphragm or using as here the pelvis base muscle how is that related so so unless one be able to uh, to handle this one practically don't know how to handle this one do not know how to breathe in the different state one do not know how to switch they are breathing for different stage. So, the big question is there. For everybody who claim to have this internal Kung Fu, Kung Fu and all those kind of secret and everything, well, what is it? How, how is one supposed to train? If you don't train, you don't get it. And if you don't understand what is going on, we don't know the what, why, how. How, how can one develop what, uh, the, 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 the breathing handling? And how do one improve it? So this is very crucial questions one must ask in Sarah every day. Oh, I have my mind power. I have my magic gene, chi. Or this is from uh, this this uh, this monk or this nun or this Taoist. Can we can we explain that? Can we describe that? Like the uh, sport science and uh, sport medicine people. If not, one is selling snake oil. If one don't even know about this different state, then one practically clueless on what it is. Okay, so there's a reason why I say this. Okay, I warn we all, not about you, but we all, including me, yes. The gossip mentality in the past 100 years, everyone have their five cents, but no one know what it is. So if we're keeping talking about internal Wing Chun, internal Xiu Lim Tao, internal Zhan Zhuang, internal this and that, and clueless on this thing. What are you doing? You couldn't even have a clear picture like in the modern sport science. So internal art, the name internal art is just what? It's just a mantra which is empty, empty words compared with the sport science. And that's why you want to uh, 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 compete with Xi Xiaotong, our MMA friend? How can all those empty words compete with the sport science? Like MMA is using sport science, judo is using sport science. All the Olympic training athletes is using sport science. How are you going to uh, uh, compete with them? So... Let's get into what it is. So it turns out that there are two types of breathing training in Kung Fu, in real internal art, in real 1850 Wing Chun and I So using the uh, H model here as the map, from the zone 2 downward, 
This is for recovery, for improved circulation, for health. And from this up, okay, it is for strengthening. So there are two different types of uh, breathing training. Now, in the uh, strengthening, it is a nose, inhale, mouth, exhale type of training. In the recovery or improved circulation, there is the nose only breathing and nose mouth breathing, depend on what it is. So, for example, in the uh, deep recovery, you're using the nose only while you want to detox and so forth. In the like in the six healing sound, you have the nose mouth breathing. And if you want to uh, circulate your body, the helping the circulation, improve circulation in the rising, sinking, in Shulim Tao, using the uh, nose mouth breathing. If the uh, intensity of the actions is uh, faster, but uh, if the action is slower, then you use nose breathing. So it is very specific. Okay, one need to know this. And uh, over here, the nose mouth breathing, like uh, for example, the ki -ai. In exertion, you always need to ki -ai. So why? The problem with holding your breath while lifting or striking, which is increasing abdominal pressure, this pressure can lead to tissue pushing through weak area in the muscle wall and lead to hernia. If that is not trained, if, if one is not doing those key eye properly, it's going to cause problem. Okay? That's why you see the uh, power lifter and so forth, they use uh, grunting. Okay? So, so this is serious stuff. Now, this serious stuff cannot be magic, cannot be all Chinese secret, all ancient secret, but people have no idea what is going on. So, so anybody who claim that they have internal art, qi, gong, and all this thing, if they have no idea this, they do not know how to handle this exactly or how to develop them exactly, forget about it. They don't have the art, they don't have the Kung Fu. Okay? That's the bottom line. Now, in all the states, you know, like from here down is recovery, for here is strengthening, the breathing depth and flow rate of different states are different. Okay? So one cannot mess around, monkey around without knowing what's going on and which part of the body one need to handle. So for example, like this 2C state, you see here, the, the, depth, the depth of the breathing is this much, even though it's not just a chest breathing, it's going down there, okay? So that when standing, you can go in down there, deep to the lower abs. That is not as deep as the N1 breathing, which is for the natural deep breathing. Okay? It's not the same with the deep recovery breathing. So this is breathe much more deeper than this. Okay? And the flow of this is not as high, the flow rate is not as high as in the six healing sound, which require both really uh, deep breathing and the uh, higher flow rate. So you look at this yellow here, 
this is how it goes how deep it goes and what is the flow rate this is how far it go and the flow rate and then you see this flow rates and the uh, the diff it go now when you want to get into the rising and sinking we just get into the the, the strengthening part already then this thing is deep and the flow rate is is high higher than this okay so that's why here is recovery now this is for strengthening when you want to get the exertion well you have to continue on on this whatever you train here and you're going to go using here so 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 anybody who really have developed that thing know about this thing okay without that there is no way one have any kung fu and if even when one do this there are different part of the muscle in the body like the respiratory uh, respiratory muscle training and so forth it is not just go mimic something here uh, there and then I uh, have no idea what's going on just go oh, breathe 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 just keep breathe breathe harder like here breathe harder breathe harder why if you if, if one have no training one can uh, hold one's breathing here well which is have a possibility to cause this cause cause this problem well the science no okay the spot science no so so how to develop this how to develop this well there's the sequence of training today in kung fu which we know once we map into the uh, uh, science sport science and once we make it systematic we know what it is so so start with this in the recovery part chinese kung fu qi kung or wing chun 1850 always make sure one be able to standing where the breathing is not stuck at the chest but going down to the uh, to the uh, to the to the low abs and then one will continues on to use the n1 breathing which is the deep recovery breathing or natural deep breathing to further develop the the depth of the uh, the, the breathing can go so in the chinese kung fu sense one either start with this if one is sick one start with this the deep recovery and then one later turn uh, train the 2c which is the zan zhuang when one get more healthier and of course people can start with the 2c and train the n1 now that is just for recovery or for warm up or cool down and this is for the, the the recovery deep recovery this is the usually warm up and cool down so you need both but this is deeper than this okay and one be able to sense one's body is more relaxed here versus here so one be able to sense aware of one's internal organs with this okay now so of course here if one is uh, loose enough one can get there but this is much more faster to uh, develop that uh, natural lip, deep abdominal breathing and be able to loosen the entire body or internal organs now between this and go down to the six ceiling sound like uh, be able to uh, use the uh, the the the, the the nose inhale and the uh, mouth exhale there's a state which is the other day i share that using the straw well so what happened is once one develop this one know one's body if one doing using the straw in the end one okay one be able to aware and enhance this breathing to aware more on one's internal organs or the muscle 
when one is uh, 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 using it. Okay, so that is the intermediate step. And with this intermediate step, then one be able to go to like the six healing sound for detox. This is the Qi Gong with nose in and a mouth breath out. And then go up to the rising and sinking like in the Xiu Lim Tao set or any internal art, real internal art set where when one to Fa Jing or, or, or exert force, one need to open the mouth to to uh, to discharge at exhale and this is not this is still not the exertion in today we can use the modern device breathing training device to fine tune and for verifications so so what is verifications well with this device one be able to look at say for example this is the exhale how strong is the exhale if one do it properly or not and when one carry out this exhale which type of muscle one is using Okay, and is there any blockage there? When one uh, gradually bring this thing up, if there's a blockage there, one will know not to brute force the thing. And also, of course, it's going to measure your lung capacity. Okay, and so one be able to verify whatever one develop here before one get to this exertion. So, when one get here, one have a clear, smooth breathing path, which is not going to cause problem, but similar to those who have no clue on what is going on and just brute frosting. Okay? So this is step by step and it's going scientific now, measurable. Nobody can cheat. You go from here, first you're aware of what is going on in the body and then you want to train so that when at standing, one be able to breathe properly, not stuck in the chest. Of course, you have to handle one's body. And this one, because it's laying down, one can lose out everything to do it and to, to really aware of what is going on with uh, one's breathing and what is going on in the, uh, the, 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 the diaphragm and different part of the muscle. And here you, in, you further aware, make it aware using the tools to make one aware of more and enhance the breathing. And then thus you can get into like the six healing sound, be able to practice the real qigong without you brute force the breathing. If you brute force the breathing, you're not going to get any qigong because like the six healing sound is to what? To promote circulations on your internal organs. If you don't go through this, you brute force the thing, how are you going to uh, help the circulation inside there? The same thing with this. The rising sinking is you want to increase or start to strengthening your 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 uh, breathing muscle and so forth. So without going through that, heaven knows what type of uh, 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 force or or or, or uh, handling you do with your body. And of course, before the exertion, which is high intensity stuff well one better to have this have this training have this measured one know what one can do and one know what one cannot do you just cannot mimic say hey you kia you kia you shout you shout as loud as possible what are you talking about shout as possible uh, uh, shout as, uh, as, la uh, as loud as possible how do you use the muscle? Which part of the muscle you're going to use? For example, it 
Is that using the diaphragm? Is that using the pelvis bed muscle? Which part? Okay. So, so unless one knows that there's no qi gong, let's not talk about this energy, that mysterious qi energy universe. Nonsense. If one don't even know how to breathe and how to handle this, what energy? So that's the reality, okay? The reality of Kung Fu. And today we know that it is converge with the modern sport science, okay? Now, so one need to develop that. Whoever not develop that yet, better go develop it, okay? Get a real Sifu who know how to develop this. And of, of course, you are not going to doing uh, your sets or Xiulin Tao slowly with your mind power and everything or, or, or adding Tai Chi or anything or doing your Tai Chi you expect to get here. Like Si Xiao Dong when he going strike like the MMA friend. This must be kidding. Okay? If you think that the Xiulin Tao sets is internal and then you do it softly and everything you can get there, that's called completely clueless one don't you know what it is one don't even know that this is for recovery this is for strengthening this part okay now details well defined information first you need to know about this as in my book basic wing chun kun okay the basic needs okay so the six core elements six thirteen three the six core element. Breathing is one of the core element, and you have different type of uh, breathing. One need to know what is going on. And then, with this N one, and this H model is in the Wing Chun inception, also explaining of the rising and sinking of the breathing. To develop of the two C, it is the Wing Chun matrix and for exertion you can see how the ancient train with the book Kung Fu 1560 okay how the uh, Qi Ji Guang or Shaolin Mang train so so this is need to know this is educations and today because we have all those modern tools we can even further verify and make thing, make the training more effective and more efficient. And everything has to be based on science. So, today, as you can w learn from this channel, which I, com I constantly show everybody, the Kung Fu training based on this Each model, okay, you can see it's all measurable. For example, in this deep recovery and warm up thing, you can monitor your heart beat and your breathing rates. See how is your breathing rates go, okay? If you really can get down to the uh, can, can get down to the deep recovery, then you have to be able to drop your heart rate. You'll be able to drop your breathing rate, and then you will be able to improve your heart rate variability. Okay. So this is HRV. This is HRV. So everything is measurable. This is the heart rate. Okay. So this is the breathing. Same thing here. When you get the breathing, your breathing capacity, the maximum inspiratory pressure, the maximum expiratory pressure, it can be measured. Okay. Same thing here. Your 
muscle endurance, your cardiovascular endurance, your acceleration speeds, your VO2 max, the power you exert, okay? How many watt is there and your strength? How many kilo is there? And of course your speed because when you, you can measure your power, you know your speed there. So today in the uh, Kung Fu training, when we map into sport science, we have all this. It's as clear as this. And if one train a Kung Fu, one better have all this handling. It's not about who is the best. It's about one need to know the detail, the proper way of training and the proper way of verifications so that one really have one what, what whatever one uh, one one thing one have it's just not i i i can think i can fly i can this i can have internal energy internal power well what internal power what internal energy well show this if you really have internal power energy you better show this okay otherwise you're not going to be able to get there or be able to get down in here for recovery. That, that, that is the, the reality. So, finally, we know that Kung Fu weren't weak at all. Check General Chi Chi Guang's war. The Kung Fu master were very strong. It is just that gossip grandmaster of Kung Fu was stronger. All those gossip people, okay? For past 100 years, everybody is sitting down there gossiping. So, for now, it is better. For Kung Fu, it is much better to go Western high-tech platform now on. Like this. Not like those uh, uh, Jedi sitting down in the uh, drinking tea place or the eating uh, uh, dim sum and talk about all this uh, whatever Kung Fu internal secret, whatever they have. It's better to go for the Western high-tech platform so one be able to deliver for what whatever one said, whatever one need to teach the student. Okay? And one need to know this So that one don't endanger one student and one know how to really develop them. So, the bottom line is you need to be able to be verified with the spot signs or else it is snake oil. So this is what I'd like to share with you today on this, on this breeding. Look around. How many people talk about breathing like I share with you today? In details, all the what, why, how. You want to practice Shulim Tao until your, uh, your exertion? Then you better to get this. You, you, you better going through all of this. Without that, how, how is one supposed to do anything? One better to know all this, the, the, the depth of breathing and the, uh, the flow rates. So, same thing for any claim in the internal art, Qigong and uh, whatever. Or else it is just the empty claim uh, daydream. Face it. So, if we don't want to face it, what happened? Do you think the world don't know? This is known, well known, okay? So, for those who really like to train 
Chinese Kung Fu. Now on, it is better to follow this. No longer this. Okay. So this is what I like to share with you today. See, this is the first video or the first time this information released in the world. Not just in the West, including Asia. Asia do not have this kinds of uh, informations. So this is just hope that Kung Fu can improve, Wing Chun can improve, Qi Gong can improve, internal art can improve. The notion is not for me to put down anybody. The notion is, hey, why don't we all solve this problem instead of getting into all this fantasy? <laughs>